Previously on AI the Somnium Files. <gasps> Get it! Lucky cat statue. <laughs> right in my ear hole, I'm a fuck. <laughs> Mr. K, what are you doing in my head now? <laughs> no, it's me, stupid. Oh. And now back to AI the Horny Guy. AI the Horny Guy. AI the Horny Guy. Boobies rule. Hey, I'm a horny guy. Would you like to touch my man's nut? Boo, 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 boo. Hey, I'm the horny guy. Pervy Dante is coming. Hey, I'm a horny guy. Hey! Snickle Back with some more AI the Somnian Files. When we last left off, we continue our investigation and we met this little shit named Oda who, uh, according to you guys, nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. Also, he's supposed to be 24. It's, they, I knew they mentioned his age at the at the start of, uh, or earlier on in the episode, but I couldn't remember what it was. I was waiting for it to get added to my uh, to my profiles, but it, uh, it never did. Actually, maybe it is now. Um. Uh, oh, there he is. So this motherfucker is twice the age of Mizuki, which is, uh, mm, it's kind of freaking me out, man. I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to hit on Date's not daughter or what, but Oda is Miyubi's son, an enthusiastic follower of a -Sed. He often pushes the boundary between idols and fans. He writes his own light novels and gets editing advice from his friend Mizuki. I don't know. They might just, they might, it might just be friends. He's a, clearly a fucking weirdo, right? And Date's not daughter pities him. I don't know. Maybe, da maybe, maybe Mizuki's a weirdo too. I, I mean, we honestly haven't seen her. I haven't actually seen her do anything yet, right? She's too busy being unconscious and arrested. Dislikes Tessa's enemies. But yeah, you guys said uh, he's a, he's not super, not a very popular character, which I, I knew the moment I saw this guy, I was like, yeah, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be annoying, right? But you guys did share with me some very uh, interesting bit of uh, uh, kind of meta lore here. Uh, and the person to do that was uh, Ryan Kim, who uh, last episode said, now we've been introduced to the character Oda. I'm reminded of an incident back in February or early 2020 where AI the Somnium Files was, was review bombed completely to hell, lowering the game's Metacritic score completely down to 1.9. It got so bad that even Kataro Jakashi himself noticed it. A reset era user with the handle Kuravavi Abad Abadaz uh, apparently investigated, quote unquote, the incident, defending the game and concluding that it might have been a deliberate attack to show how broken the whole process of review bombing a game was on Metacritic. It gets incredibly weird and a bit ironic, though, when it was revealed that this Kuravavi fellow actually was the person who review bombed the game in the first place. Like legit, he single-handedly review bombed the game down to a 1.9. A rant on Twitter said, and some shenanigans revealed that the real per reason why he review bombed the game was because he hated how the character Asa was depicted in the game. For context, the character Asa also is a real VTuber on YouTube. They created the account as a means to promote the game, but as a legit channel now. This Kravarvi fellow formed a crush on Aset in the real world and didn't like how Aset turned out in the game, AI the Somnium Files. So this Kravarvi went and review bombed the game to a score of 1.9, then pretended to defend the game by investigating the situation and explaining how the process of review bombing games is broken completely. Like, it's almost like a complete Oda in real life, except in the complete opposite direction. Like, but Jesus Christ, Kind of both kind of sad and ironically funny. What the fuck? I know, seriously, that's uh, talk about ironic. That is very, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Why? <laughs> what? It's so weird. Jesus Christ. So, what do you do? Like, make a bunch of fake accounts to, to review bomb the game just because of one guy, just like Oda did. Wow. Maybe that was the point, right? Maybe he was doing it to be funny. Like, wouldn't that be great? What if it was just like, ah, I was just doing it to be hilarious? But no. Probably not. <laughs> Even if it was just to be funny, it still would be a bit ridiculous. So apparently, yeah, the the I looked this up and uh, the there's two channels for this A set VTuber thing, right? One is the English one, which is not really posted a whole lot, really. It was just mostly promotional stuff. And then the other one was the Japanese one, which actually uh, has started posting more frequent, uh, more uh, regularly, though they haven't posted like the most recent post they did was like back in September or something. So I don't know if they're going to keep going or not, but uh, sort of became its own thing, which I just found it funny because, like, the whole point of this character was to promote this game initially. Even if it, if, if it became its own thing eventually, right? 
it doesn't matter because initially this character is from this game it's not like this character existed and then was put into this game so their whole idea too that this like oh well, i don't like how they're depicted in this game like motherfuckers they are from this game but to be fair even if it did make more sense for them to be quote unquote upset about it it still wouldn't have made sense for them to go out and do the shit they did yeah that's some that's definitely some oda shit I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag that as some Oda shit. But Ryan Kid, thank you so much for that interesting bit of very weird fucking metal lore behind this game. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. Oh yeah, you guys also told me, sort of interestingly, uh, the uh, uh, voice actress uh, for Boss, Allegra Clark, has actually been uh, live streaming this game. Actually, fairly recently too. And she's been inviting on the different uh, voice actors and actresses from the game uh, as guests as they play through it. That's cool. You guys also told me an interesting thing, too, is that uh, one of the things they were apparently really explicitly told to do uh, when they were voice acting the game was when they pronounced Oda's name, they really had to hit the, the T sound, Ota. So everybody who gets invited as a guest really like goes hard into that T for Oda, except for the guy who voiced Oda. Zach Aguilar, because he never had to actually say his name. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's interesting. That's cool. It's, it's actually kind of neat seeing all these different voice actors, these professional voice actors, like doing their own thing, live streaming. I mean, like, for example, Critical Role is basically all these professional voice actors coming together and playing D&D. &D. I don't know. I just think it's super neat because so many of them are very have become so iconic, right? They're part of such big games. And it's always just kind of neat also just to see them talk like themselves all right what's what they normally sound like and of course who they are as people but okay so now we have uh met a set here i just give the distinct possibility this chick's gonna end up being fucking crazy right we already see that uh clearly date knows this chick right he doesn't remember but he he must know her because he's getting like uncon he's unconsciously getting like ptsd or getting his heart rate increasing when he sees her but he doesn't get it right he's just kind of like oh fine For some reason I'm, I'm just getting like ah and I, I'm pretty sure it's not a, oh yeah, she's just, she's hot or something. No, I'm pretty sure he's like freaking out that he's seeing her. All right, so who the fuck are you? Uh. Let me confirm something. You're Aced, right? Let's play a game. Shadows! Um, Thread? Silhouette? Aced! Fierce! Uh, Upset? Regret? Aced! Water. What the fuck? Wet sweat A set. Oh god. <laughs> Yay! A set, you bet. Jesus Christ. Oda sip sipping fucking hard. <laughs> sipping hard for freaking A set here. Good god. Yeah, <laughs> Donna's like, oh god, I just I just I just I just I wanna get out of here. Magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. Yes, please. Uh, how old are you? I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? What? 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 What's this reaction? Why is he smiling? <laughs> Why is he like, yeah! <laughs> you can make a move on me, yeah! Horny Date, on the prowl. You're friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. So, we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically. Take those cat ears off, I can't take you seriously. Suki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. What's the relationship with Oda? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Shh. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. You sound more like a superhero than a thrall. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Seriously, that I think what's what's making the expressions kind of jarring is the fact that their head doesn't move at all, right? It's just their face going. Ah, da, da. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. At least, I mean, they'll, like, they'll adjust themselves to the next, right? Like, this is my next emotion, but then their but their head stays completely still and then goes ah, da, da, as they're talking. Stop. 
still making me blush. Those are all him. This guy. <laughs> this motherfucker. You guys also actually point out an, another hilarious thing was that so there was actually also a uh, I get I guess at the time of release of this game there was a parody account done for Oda that I think maybe still is active I don't know but and they they basically said some shit like like man I'm glad that the word simp wasn't around when I when this game was released I was like oh shit yeah this guy gets it uh about sock puppeting what. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Twitter. Wait! Do it! Huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. <laughs> yes! Oh, I love that. You're my bitch now, Oda. That's right. Isn't that right, Ota? Uh, Ota! Actually, I did. now now I'm paying attention to it. I am I, I am hearing the emphasis on the ta. Oh ta. Yeah, just be cool. Oh, this fucked up little face. Like Jesus Christ. Like his face looks fine when it's in the left, right? But when you're looking at it straight on, because the because the character model also makes that face, it doesn't look right, right? It's like it's like a an expression that works only at like one angle, and every other angle it looks weird. Wrong. <laughs> ah! Uh, about a set. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. <laughs> look at her face right now. Ah! Don't you think so too, Date? No. You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff. And I just you get know? a massive boner. Didn't need to know that. Uh, Shoko Nadami. Took out Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Oda. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. Oh, for fuck's sake. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Hmm. Okay. Did you talk to her last night? Oh, um... Heard about it? About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park? He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? The fuck? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. I mean, what a coincidence. It ended up being her mom, too. That's fucked up. I wonder if this game allows me to... If I set auto mode on, is it possible to... Uh, decrease the delay? Nope. I cannot. That was the first time I've ever actually seen the... You could actually adjust what the auto delay was between messages. It was actually in the other game I'm let's playing, uh, 13 Sentinels. That actually had that option in there. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Cause sometimes I do get moments like, see, I, I tried to, I just tried the auto mode there to see how long the, the delay was between. And it's like, it's just like a little too long, right? It's like a second or uh, like two seconds or something. And I'd prefer to be like half a second or something. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. I was looking at a set. Well, not really a look, more of a gawk or an enraptured gaze. Uh... You aren't even blinking. <laughs> Come on, I'm shy. You're embarrassing me. Who voices Ascent? Is it the same girl as, like, the handler from Monster Hunter and, uh, the twins from Nier Automata? I think it might be. Oh! Are you... Are you a fan of mine? No! Okay, now I'm getting a little creeped out. 
You can stop staring now. <laughs> Ellipses. Keep going. Don't stop. Just stop staring at her. She'll think I'm crazy. But I am crazy. And so is she probably. All right. Uh. Okay, we're leaving. Bye. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. They're clearly important for something, though. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Nowhere that concerns you. Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. No! Please You're don't. What? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto is telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. It's probably you. If it wasn't me, it was probably you. Maybe it was both of us. I'd be like, yeah, no. Ota, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Just do it, you little simp. Mr. Dante. Uh-oh. What? I can't imagine life without you. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna blackmail him? Uh-oh. This girl showing her true colors already. Like I just, I'm, I, I, yeah, I, I, I remember some of the promotional material showing off. You know, she was, she was a big focus of it, right? And I just kind of got the feeling like, yeah, this chick's gonna be in a psycho or something. I think she took that because if she shows that to her fans, right, they're gonna start like setting death threats to Dante, right? Because she's supposed to be this idol that doesn't associate with anybody, right? Because she's for all her fans. It's like the idea of an idol, I, I think, in Japan. What are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? Look at her fucking face. You wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... Why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. Kill her! Way ahead of you. Come over here. She really is quite the seductress. Uh, okay, I can go. He said it's a rather inappropriate smile on her face, given the circumstances. Something wrong? Oh, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Bitch, Oda, I didn't fucking want her to touch me, all right? <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? <laughs> Those staring daggers at me. Whatever. God damn it, is Oda gonna come too? This has gotta be against protocol, right? Or something? Against something? I'm gonna call my boss. I don't know what to do. Whatever. Dante's a professional. He totally gives in a blackmail. I'd be like, fuck it, no. Do whatever you want, bitch. Uh, holy fuck, what? I am in... Whoa! Whoa! I'm in my car! Whoa! Uh... A sight. Is my eyeball out? And on my shoulder? <laughs> That'd be cool if I could actually start... <laughs> Start fucking hitting cars. What are you doing? I'm fucking crazy, though, you know, girl. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I can't do anything. What am I doing? Ma'am? Uh, hello? I can't do anything. I'm pressing buttons and nothing's happening. Oh, 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 there's my scroll. Okay. Okay, there we go. I was like, where's my icon? Traffic. Steering wheel. 
Cars and domestic. It's made in Australia. So the steering wheel's on the right side. Yeah, I was about to say, I was like, uh. It's because they also drive on the left side of the road. The dashboard. Dash has a ton of stuff built in. It has a speedometer, tachometer, and other meters and gauges. This ride is pretty rad, huh? It is indeed rad. Yeah, Iba. Mondo cool. And Indians use the left, too. What? Uh, nothing. Just thinking. <laughs> what? Shut up, you're in my brain. You should know you should know I already know what I'm thinking about. Uh this is, this is what I do when I'm driving too. I'm like, wee! Just look at <laughs> Let me look at the ceiling. Let me drive with my peripheral. I'm gonna look at my dick. Leg! Seriously, is she like on my shoulder? Is that how I'm looking at her right now? Uh um about Mizuki. We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. I mean, you're six years older than her. It's not that well compared to Oda. It's actually not that bad. About Oda. Why do you ask? I'm guessing he's he's not in the car with me, right? You're not in the back, are you? The two are very close for an idol and a fan. Oda is special. He's a fucking weirdo. And my little slut. Yeah, I fucking bet. Also, I love that his his jacket is it's literally that's just the Captain America shield. It's not even like a fake version of it. It's just it's just the Captain America shield. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? I feel like she probably already knows what he's doing. I just I just bet, right? She's gonna like pretend to be like a little a little ditzy girl, but she's really a fucking genius, right? Psychotic genius. Why'd you become an idol? Do you have any questions for me? Why'd you become an idol? Well, it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. I've never heard anything like that before in my entire life. Nope. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? know much about that. Inspector Eric, so just looking at a butthole. What? Ha, only a real detective would know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? <laughs> Am I? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? That's classified. What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please? He's like, bitch, you fucking blackmail me to get in this car, right? You should me to bomb with you. Get out of here. you doing just thinking about posting that video good for you whoa, whoa hold up now well then tell me about that video you know now that I think about it wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too what the video you're an idol right you have a status to maintain if that video went viral I think you'd be in trouble too that's right it's okay. Uh. Because sometime oops. real soon, I'm going to die. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. What the fuck? Don't worry, I'm an Esper! Getting some fucking Mizono vibes here. Jesus. Yeah, actually, a lot of ways they just kind of silver to Mizono because Mizono ended up being, well, not a psycho, but I mean, she did end up, you know, trying to kill somebody at some point. Hmm. Hmm. I'm starting to feel like I see the setup potentially here. Again, I'm not basing this off 
any like i don't remember anything from the promotional material about her i don't think it showed anything all it just showed her was like was like talking to the camera and then occasionally some creepy shit would happen i think but i feel like the uh, what might end up happening so she thinks she, she says she's gonna die right and she's also saying how she wants to be famous i feel like it could be like she's gonna fake her own death potentially right um and become like this big deal maybe killed by the person who quote unquote killed the this woman or or something right to get her name out there or she'll get kidnapped or, or something I, I don't know something that would to, to make her name big but i feel like it's something that she did and she would like set up herself like something she did intentionally to make herself a household name mm, i don't know that's like this is my big brain prediction here of where this is going could be totally wrong i'm just again it's Zuchikoshi, right it's like this when i it's like this when I try to play when I'm playing a Kadanka game or an Uchikoshi game I always try my best if I can to try to think a few steps ahead of them because because both of these writers both love to just fuck with you right and be, be perfectly honest most of the time I'm kind of wrong with these guys you know I think I know where it's going and I I usually totally wrong for example v3 very freaking wrong there was a lot of shit that I did not see coming same with dr2 same with zero time dilemma so I'm probably wrong but I'm just trying to I'm just trying to see if I can figure out where this just goes before it happens. Then I can be like, ha, got you, Chikoshi. I got your number. All right, uh, about my department. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. I don't have a choice. Just lie to her. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. A big dick investigation squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool. Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Did you say Aizen? Get the fuck out of my car. How did you start working for Lemniscape? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but... I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. Apparently even the fake version of you, or real version of you? Whatever. <laughs> for the promo material has already started getting big. Talk about ironic. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Oh, well, that helps. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. What's your real name? By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Iris Sagan! Having Ace Attorney flashbacks suddenly. What the fuck? Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Oh, fuck, I think I'm your dad. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Uh-oh. Getting memories from pre-amnesia. No, it's nothing. I about tell me what that shit was. You're in my brain. Motherfucker. Demon Child. Bloom Park, Saturday, 1 12 p.m. Excuse me. You Konami Date? That's right. And the girl? I don't know. Just make sure she doesn't come in, all right? He's blackmailed me to do this. She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I think I was like, okay, fine, it works. I don't care. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rush onto the scene and start touching everything. <laughs> I can't imagine these all have new things, Mr. right? Mr. Date, that horse. Uh, okay, never mind, I guess it does. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. 
Her grand horse skewered upside down. Looks pathetic. Pathetic like me for falling for this blackmail bullshit. Holographic caution tape. K Kabasaki district buildings in the distance. Oh, you guys did though tell me that when you, every time you return to the boss's office, apparently, you can actually re-examine everything for new dialogue. So, uh, yeah. So that's something I will have to, so I'll have to, I'll have to do at some point. So I don't know, maybe this area is the same way. The yeah, sky is clear and blue. The air is clear. Wait, what is it clear and cold? We're in for another cold fall. It's a bench. I wonder how many couples sat there. He's kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. I'll fucking burn them. What? Where is this anger coming from? I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Some deep Dante lore there, maybe? Local cop. Hey, I'm a cop. Uh, local cop. How's the investigation coming? It's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Nothing. Cool. Fence? There's a fence around the merry-go-round. Is the girl is the girl gonna just stumble upon some shit or plant some shit? <laughs> a panda ride, the type that you put a coin in. Black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's funny. I it, it didn't even occur to me. It should have immediately occurred to me what she was talking about. But I was like, what? Is there some Jeep Jazz some Japanese lore for like? A black and white. Ah, oh, <laughs> ah. Oh, I don't know. Are you? Have you been a naughty girl? You want to see the next amazing adventures of Monokuma? You have to wait for the next Castle of Voices. Oh wait, I'm fucking dead. Never mind. Fuck that show. It sucked anyway. Parasol. A Ferris wheel. So it reminds me of a giant eye staring down at me. Like all the eyes in this game. So many eyes. Control Is room. That a phone booth? No, you dumbass. No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. <laughs> okay. But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you making that reference? What? Oh, oh, I got you. Superman. I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Yeah, let's, uh, let me see that, actually. She's probably in here now, right? Yes. 18. Our Sagan. Freshman high school senior. Internet idol. Like singing, dancing, the occult. Our iris irises? Really? She likes irises. Like eyes? Or is that also a flower? It's an iris of flower. She likes both. She likes eyes as well. She's probably the she's probably she probably is the killer then, right? She likes the fl flowers and the eyeballs. She just likes scary people. Hobby, singing, dancing, let's plays. Wow, we have so much in common. We should go out together. And then a week later, I show up as a dead body on the seven o'clock news. Uh, skills runs extremely fast. Iris is an internet idol musician belonging to the entertainment office alumnus skater. Stage set, it, or stage name is ASAP, but her fans call her Tessa. She is Atomi's daughter and good friends with Yoda and Mizuki. Where does Tessa come from this ASAP thing? Like, where's, where does, oh, it's the, it's that backwards. I see it. I get it. I get it. It's just ASAP backwards. I was like, what? Where's the, is this some Japanese like, so something that's not easily translated to Japanese and ah, I get it now. The roof of the merry-go-round. There's a hole in it now from all years of weathering. Last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? And how many times am I gonna flash back to that moment? Let's do it again. Horse. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Zoom. Shoko's course was tied up here. Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. But there's no blood on the, the horse. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. Meaning she was likely killed somewhere else, right? Most of the blood was lost there and then put here. There isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That must mean. What? Tell me. Is there nothing else I can look at here? Uh-uh-uh. I know what you're thinking, Mr. Date. What? You wanted to see me dance on that pole, huh? You just want to see me spread them long and spread them wide. What the hell are you talking about? 
Metal pole. He told Uchikoshi he had a little too much fun with this game. <laughs> He's like, yeah, because that's what Uchikoshi was thinking when he played this. Or I made this. Played and made this. Iris is investigating the horse, looking over it curiously. What are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. You just want to be part of the alcohol, because that's part of the thing that was part of your profile likes. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. Why do you think it was a ritual murder? The horses. Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> Let me tell you about this deep lore of some random bullshit. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. <laughs> Wait a minute, you say eye? I know eyes. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Luminati I. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Prominence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Yeah. Starting to see the picture? Not really. I think you're full of fucking shit. You're wasting your dumb time. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. My eyeball. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She fucking jumps out of my face. She's like, hi there. Ah! <laughs> She's right in front of your eyes. Or she's right in front of my eyes. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh, why do you think this is a ritual murder? I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Yeah. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? Hmm, okay. So it was already in there, which means that... Ew. So that means that Mizuki pulled it out at some point? Where did the eye go, right? What should you do? Pull it out? She's like... Ew, I hope you don't mind, Mom. I'm just going to take this, and then I'm going to take the eyeball out, and I'm going to put it somewhere, and then I'm going to go hide in here. When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. To Mizuki? Gross, Mizuki. Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. Eight years ago. I remember like it was yesterday. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. So what the fuck are we doing here? Ah, uh, I feel myself being irradiated. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they okay? I don't know. Uh -huh. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? Probably not. We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Ah, uh, okay. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. I don't think... <laughs> you could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Uh, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on. 
just a little longer. Stop looking at where the dead people you were. Get, come on. No. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Her outfit is so weird looking, honestly. <laughs> like, it, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just the combination of like the kind of like the varsity jacket, the cat ears, and the weird high heels. You all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. I was like, what? Uh, not like I would know. Jesus Christ. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. <laughs> I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Ah. Stop getting so cozy with me. It's making me uncomfortable. Why was that my first gut reaction? I'd be like, yeah, piggyback ride. Let's go. I got me in my car again. Let's look at the wheel. Again. Steering wheel. What about this? It's dashboard. No. I'm feeling kind of bored. Oh my god. I, 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 if a one more person said one more fucking pun, I swear to god, I'm crashing this car right now. I'm crashing this fucking car. I'm running it off the bridge and killing us both, alright? Game over. Let's play end it. Hope you guys enjoy. Three episodes. Seriously? Dashboard. Seriously, how does everybody know what I'm looking at? <laughs> they just like follow my lifestyle. They're like, he must be looking at the dashboard, thinking dashboard. I'm gonna throw out this sick pun. Here we go. Woo! Can't look at anything in like the a raccoon just comes flying by. You have two seconds to look at it or you miss it entirely. And you don't get the secret ending. Hey, what's up? Um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? I don't okay, clearly my eye is not hopping out of my socket, but how the fuck am I doing that? Wait a minute. Oh, it's my, it is my left eye. It just kind of hit me, my left eye. So I'm actually, ew, should she be like worried? Cause my left eye is literally like, like turned all the way to the left. <laughs> Probably looking at her. Oh, my other one's looking straight ahead. That cannot look good. Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. <laughs> Do you have a lazy eye or something? Yeah, it's freaking me out. How you feeling girl? Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? Do it. I would put it right back where it came from. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. <laughs> put that shit back in there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, they made me get some. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, I'm going to throw it. In. <laughs> <laughs> Vomits on his eye hole. Oh, 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 God, it's like an episode of failing. Oh. Power soap in the passer window. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. Bitch, that's pleasant. That's very pleasant. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Dante. What? They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. No. What? Like you're holding D cups? What? Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm sorry. Am I, am I not understanding that right? Is she saying you get a rush like you're holding a pair of giant tits? Is that what she's saying? Or am I, or is D cup mean something else? Okay, that's not a saying, all right? And also, you don't get a rush. You just stick your hand out the window. You're fine. Unless you, unless you see it so far out that you're like, I want to try to grab a street light. Then maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. I'm invincible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lap my ass off. That shit happens. My arm regenerates like an alien's. I bet it fucking does. Didn't you tell me that you're going to die soon? Yeah. It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. 
that. It feels like I've met you before. We have. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm your father, maybe. I don't know. The wind feels nice. This girl's freaking me out. Alright, she's gonna end up dead at some point, right? Quote unquote dead, but then not really dead. Sagan Residence! Saturday, 3.09 p.m. Dude, nice house, man. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Ooh, going home already? I said my goodbyes and turned to leave. You come here, mister. But out of the corner of my eye. Who be that? Her mother? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, who is this, Iris? PTSD again. Felt my body freeze. Because that woman, she's... Oh. Dead. For my brain. Memory dreams. No, it can't be. It can't demon me. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. I didn't... As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Hey, baby. Ah. Hi, ma'am. Hi, dead person. I mean, uh. You're. Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's a secret. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. I gave your daughter a piggyback ride. I don't know why I told you that. Sorry, I'm really bad at, I'm really bad at small talk. After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on the tray. Oh, tea! I, I love tea. She put everything down on the table and sat down on the sofa. Yummy tea! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a pretty day. Let's get the trees and sky outside. Uh, low table, coffee table, workbooks. There's some elementary workbooks on the table, but looking closely on the, the one in the middle is different. Osagami Sumo Wrestler Directory. Nani? Osagami Sumo? Okay, cool. Tea. Steam is rising from the tea. Drink it. Standing lamp. The lights are off. A bookshelf. There are no books on it, but it's definitely a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know. A wooden shelf. Mysterious object. Is that a calendar? It's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. It reminds me kind of a, of an angel. It looks like one. Of, it looks like one of those little fortune teller things, right? Like one of those things you make out of paper. What is that object? Tabletop calendar, mysterious object. Yeah, it's got one over there too. Looks like some random bullshit you'd find, like IKEA or something. Yes, just something to put on the shelf so it doesn't look empty. Shoebox. Why don't they smell? What? You are beyond perverted. Oh, for fuck's sake, Dante! Seriously? Ah, uh, feet. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? What the fuck, Dante? Dante, do you have a foot fetish? And by associations, that mean Uchikoshi has a foot fetish. Look, Dante, feet, feet. Uchikoshi was like, "Hey, when you mount these feet, make sure you go into super detail. All right? I want to see every little toe and crevice." And then you better match up perfectly with her real feet. She's not even gonna like lift her foot up. So what does it matter? No one's gonna see it. Ice, I'll see it, all right? In my own private time. In my after work hours, all right? Let's go back to sniffing these shoes again. Mmm. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, dude. Why do you... This is like, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> uh, like, uh, like, okay. You have a foot fetish or something. You find it attractive. Okay, sure, whatever. Why would you want to sniff it though, man? That's so gross. It's just so not gonna smell good. Like why? Also, my head is turning very uh, it's like full 180 right now. <laughs> very flexible. It's the front door. A dining table. You always sit here and ask the spirits what they think. It's not a divining table. Seriously, Uchikoshi loves his puns, doesn't he? Microwave. Uh, let me know if you're cold. 
I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Oh, snap. Uh, fridge. Date, a riddle. Oh, God. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? What? The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. What kind of a riddle is that? Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? Isn't it the same answer? Open the door, put it in, close the door? Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. That is the solution. Your riddles could use some work. What the fuck? I, I don't even... I don't even know how to respond to that, but okay. Sure. Can't see them from here, but there's probably a sink and a stove on the other side. All right, but get out and check. Make sure those are there. Our and her mother her told me are sitting on the sofa. Uh oh, is that me in the picture? Oh, it's the it's the dark haired guy. That's the dark haired guy from uh my, the, my from my dream as well, I believe. And also, looks like they have halos above their head. This is a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. Are they dead? Are they already dead? Am I a ghost? Cushion. I've seen that cushion somewhere before. No, not just the cushion. I saw this entire room in my dream last is there night. A problem, Date? No. It's nothing. <laughs> in this side. In this thing. <laughs> Escape the room, Dante. Not here. God. Does that mean if I stand perfectly still, the the whole screen will start fucking up? <laughs> Flower. The flowers. It's an iris. Oh, God, it is. Is that the one she sniffed up her nose? An iris. I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. God, there's so many, like, I things in this, right? Like, I legit think that th they're actually trying to play on the, again, the I thing, right? And so she likes irises. I, I bet it's I bet it's both the flower and eyeballs. <laughs> they bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. I just knew somebody was going to die. Winter Iris means good news and hope, according to this crazy girl. Uh, okay, if I got... No, wait, light. It's for lighting. Fan. It's for fanning. Disco ball. It's for dancing. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think we, uh... I think we have covered all our bases here. Now let's stare at Tommy's feet. I saw her. I saw her in my dream last night. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. Do you know me? Uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. No. This is the first time we've met. Of course. Arse's mother, tell me Sagan. <laughs> May I ask how old you are? <laughs> Good lord, uh... Dante with the fucking tact here. Hey, how old are you, lady? I just walk in here. I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? I don't have one. He's fucking dead. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. Is it me? Am I the dad? Did you forget? Uh... What about the guy in the picture then? Uh, about Renji Okiura. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. I heard you were friends with this douchey looking Tagami guy. Renji was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. <laughs> I know everything! I know all beams! Where do you work? I'm a teacher at the local elementary school teacher must be a tough job oh <laughs> not for me i love children even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me uh do you know renju's ex-wife yes i do but i only met her twice once at renju's wedding and then again just a few months ago why do you ask it's fucking dead no reason Iris is looking this way. Um, how long have you been living here? Since I was born. 
And Mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, I don't know. Huh? Because I died here. You killed me, maybe. Uh, you were saying... Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. We're just sitting here staring awkwardly at each other. Well then, let's have a sip. Are you left-handed? Oh, uh... Mom used to be right-handed. But now... Hmm... Ah! It locked up on me. Ah, oh, I see. What? Interesting. Goodbye. You look chipper. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> yeah? Oh, hey, there's a phone back there I didn't examine. Telephone in the corner. And I didn't get anything. Uh, you seem to be doing well. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr! How am I supposed to react to that? <laughs> That's how I feel about most of these conversations in this game. How am I supposed to react? What do I say to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. About the flowers. I was saying about the flowers blooming behind her. Oh, I should I should look at them. I gotcha. I wait. Oh, wait. What? There's nothing new though. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess just just tell me I should look at them in case I hadn't looked at them already, right? Okay, is that everything in here? I think it is. All right, bye. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. Thanks for this terrible tea. Look at me in the purple socks and the purple gloves. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Tommy stood politely. Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? Now nah, you about to die, girl. Don't you remember? You told me that. You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. I'm a cop. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. I'll probably see you again when you're dead. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. I meant that in not a weird way, by the way. I'm like her not dad. Bye. Shake my purple hand. Uh, excuse me. Well, I should head home. Does she have a prosthetic arm or something? All right. Take care, Date. Or is she paralyzed in her... The right side? She didn't die from that thing I saw earlier. She just got paralyzed or something. I don't know. Damn, how many times we're going to do this shot of this fucking car driving down the road? Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Man, fuck this game. Fuck this. I'm fucking going off the bridge. I'm so sick of these puns. Date, Date, we both know you're not going to do it, okay? You said this like a hundred times now. You keep saying, this is it. I'm done with these puns. I'm going to die. We, we know you don't do it, all right? So shut the fuck up. Now sit the hell down. But I'm already sitting down. I said, shut up. God damn it. One of these days, it's Koshi. One of these days, these puns are just going to push me over the edge. Good idea. Okay, she, she's sitting in my lap. Charging. I best fit into this. Oh, she's uh, she's in the wheel. Neat. Oh, I'm charging her in my car. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, look, it's me. Uh, look. Now, who is this handsome gentleman? Oh, ooh. Oh, it's me. Look, I, I'm just looking at my. I'm de okay, now I'm definitely not looking at the road. I can see myself through Iba. Hi. My name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. Hey, baby. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. 
Perhaps he's had too much medication. What medication am I taking? Is it like my crazy pills? So I don't turn into crazy pants. Uh, play a game. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I will. I will terminate you. <laughs> you will be terminated. Focus, you got this. Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm fine, Dante. You do not appear to be fine. Come on, you've hung around me long enough, all right? This is just another weird day with crazy Dante, I tell you what. All right, what is it? Uh, about Jericho's corpse. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Um, about the corpse. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. I like the music in this game. It's very, very kind of chill. Diddly, 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 diddly. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. Mizuki pulled out and ate it. Dante! So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? She was getting hungry. Uh, about the blood stains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. So it means that most of the blood had already run out by this point, right? And the blood had dried, so uh, probably a good while after she died. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? Yeah. That's part of the job, if there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Not like me. Uh, let's see. Let's hear the timeline of events. Iba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Okay, 5 p.m. Shoko's time of death. Mizuki receives Nile message, unknown sender, request to come to Bloom Park. Mizuki calls Oda, asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. They discover the body. Oda leaves like a little bitch. Oda reports crime via payphone. First response arrive on the scene, discover Shoko's corpse. Dot arrives on the scene. An hour and 20 minutes later. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Iba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Why was Mizuki inside the column? Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. Not funny, not pun funny. Not punny. Dante! Ah, sorry, I was, uh, I've was. got Uchikoshi on the brain. Anything on your mind? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? Just carried her dead ass. I have no idea. I mean, there is, like, supposed to be abandoned anyway, right? May have killed her somewhere over there and then just carried her there. I mean, be a lot of work. But 
Maybe. Since nobody's around, right? They, they could basically walk in broad daylight with a dead body. Uh, police headquarters, Saturday, 4.26 p.m. Oh, fuck. Am I back in the office? Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Azuki. Aw. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. The fuck? Eh, same thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Sync. Gotta go into her brain. All right, honey, daddy's gonna just hop in there real quick. We're gonna hop in the matrix. Hope you don't mind. Wow, this is a very uh, elaborate setup we have here. Damn, we got a lot of shit in here too. Um, Okay, I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now before we hop into uh, the next part. Syncing up. Interesting, like I, I have a few thoughts about where this could potentially go. I mean, I think it's pretty clear that the girl is gonna uh, ace at Tessa Iris, whatever. I think she's gonna end up probably dead, right? Or at least seemingly dead. It almost makes you wonder, I mean, if she is of dead, right, there would probably be a corpse then that would go with it. But seemingly Hitomi was also quote unquote dead, right? So maybe whatever happened to her could have happened to, to Iris as well to make it seem like she's dead. I don't know. I'm, this is, again, I'm not basing this off really anything except for like trying to think ahead, right? There's no real... Aside from her saying that she's going to die, I do feel like that's probably going to happen because you don't say that shit unless it's going to happen in one of these in these types of stories, right? Right? I'm actually hilarious if nothing happens to her. <laughs> she's just, she actually stays alive the entire game. It was just some fucking bullshit. Who knows? But it's good so far. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely got me uh, intrigued. I'll be curious to see uh, what we end up finding inside of Mizuki's uh, little head. And also if I fix that little glitch I was having earlier. <laughs> Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do a like and a favorite and subscribe for an all rave called P Penguin. For the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.